Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It's been a little bit uh, with uh, COVID and everything hitting and we're all quarantined. You'd think I'd be doing more videos. Work's been really crazy. I'm sorry, I just, fin I just finished a workout and I'm really tired. But that's what I wanna talk about is Rochelle and I are doing this experiment thing. I say experiment, it's not like anyone else has never done this kind of thing before. But uh, what we did was we chose the month of April for um because it's 30 days exactly anyway so for those 30 days we have a very specific meal plan um an exercise routine a meditation routine also no alcohol no sweets like desserts things like that so i'm going to show you a little bit of the stuff that we're doing So here is kind of like the chart of, of how we're doing things. So we've got very specific um, like tasks to mark off each day with, with different types of food. So my typical day would be protein, carbs, and fruit, high protein, extra vegetables, um, snack, protein, and low carb. Dinner, it just depends on what we're doing that day and how we're doing on the rest of our diet already. So um, we kind of fill in the gaps at dinner time. And then snack, this comes after dinner. This is between dinner and going to bed where we might get one more workout in. High protein for me and fruit. Whereas for her, it would be um, a balance of protein, carbs, and fruit. We're doing two exercises a day. Some of them um, are a little bit easier than others. So like this day and center, we're using the center app made by Chris Hemsworth because um, he's got a six week free trial going right now. So um, we're using a lot of exercises there. So we'll do that. Um, when we say something like this, this is just something that um, we'll put together ourselves um, and just knowing what's a challenge for us and what's too hard and things like that. Um, and then some days we might have something just like we'll do yoga, we'll go for a walk because those are kind of like active recovery days for us. And then, um, doing meditation. So we started out five minutes for first 10 days, and then we're going to go to eight minutes. And then on the back of the sheet, we can't see it, but it's going to be 12. I'm microwaving some stuff, but uh, just to um, give you guys some idea of some of the stuff that we've been eating. So we have five meals through the day. We're doing breakfast, lunch, a dinner, two snacks. For breakfast every morning, we're doing um, a balance of carbs and protein and um, a piece of fruit every morning. So um, just as an example, yesterday I had some uh, oatmeal with a serving of peanut butter uh, mixed in with it, which is way better than it sounds, and a, uh, a few clementines. Um, I think it was like three clementines. So that's breakfast. Lunch uh, for both of us is high protein and a ton of vegetables. Okay, so this is what a typical lunch for me would look like during these 30 days. Um, we've got my protein, there's some carbs in there, and some vegetables, and then a whole nother thing of vegetables, and um, some kind of water to drink. 
Um, to make the vegetables a little bit more interesting, I'll use different spices, things like that, just to try to make it a little bit more delicious, because vegetables sometimes just innately aren't that great for people like me that aren't big on veggies. But I'm getting, I'm learning to love vegetables depending on how I make them. Day nine, and I just finished my first exercise of the day. I've said before that we're doing, uh, some of the exercises we're doing are from the Center app from Chris Hemsworth, so you can check that out. You can get a uh, six week free trial. So I recommend it, there's a lot of stuff on there. We've done some um, HIIT training, we've done some uh, full body workout, and we've also done some yoga, which has been awesome. Uh, the yoga session was honestly one of my favorites. I've never really done a lot of yoga before, but it felt good, my muscles felt real good after. The one I just did today was um, a workout that Combined some of what I used to do in CrossFit with a few other things um, and did it at home. But I did it in two stages. And as I get better and better, I will do it in, um, I'll do a third round of it as well. And so everything, you can see everything's really like bare back here because we're trying to get ready to move. We're packing a lot of stuff right now. So one round consists of um, five burpees, not with a push up, just you get all the way flat to the ground hands off the ground. So stomach, chest, knees, everything touching the ground. Then hands back up, push yourself back up um, as you're bringing your feet, hopping your feet back in and keep your feet flat as they're jumping in and then jumping up into the air. So five burpees, 10 push-ups, um, And so this is stuff that you can do at home. So. If uh, a burpee's hard, you can walk your feet in instead of jumping. If uh, push-ups are hard, uh, do push-ups on your knees. Just concentrate on keeping your back flat as you do it. So, I mean, I'm not talking like this, but if you're on your knees, you're gonna be slanted a little bit, but keep that flat, no bending the back in or up. Okay, so 10 of those, 20 step-ups. And what I recommend for that is um, go somewhere where you can step up at least two stairs, so one foot up, followed by the other foot, then step back down with one and step back down with the other, and alternate so each foot is getting 10, so 20 total. 30 air squats, um, if you um, need help with that, you can put like a medicine ball or like a, if you have a small ottoman or something behind you, just to make sure you're not gonna fall over. If you're not used to doing those, you can do that, but try to shoot for 30. Um, followed by that, I did this one thing, I don't know how to describe it, I'm sure there's like a term for it, but what I did was I, um, stuck a blanket underneath my feet and got up in like a push-up position, right? Um, dumbbells in each hand, and then I basically, without moving my legs, would move forward with the dumbbell, followed by the other dumbbell, and like my feet just kind of glided along on that blanket. So it's basically like a crawl, um, and I did it across a couple rooms, just looking from end of one room to the end of the other, because it's very open. I'd say about 50 feet, dragging one way, flip around, put the dumbbells on the rug, and then I just stay in that push-up push position with my, um, uh, with the dumbbells on the rug, as I said, and this time I'm moving the feet instead. So just kind of like pushing my upper body forward and I do that on the way back. And so I did that, I think three times this time. Um, so one, one way, then one the other way. And then I did that a total of three times. And then I start the entire round over with the, the five burpees. And so I did both uh, rounds twice. And as you can see, like I am like, I'm dripping sweat right now, guys. It was a it was a really good workout. It got my entire body active, and and that felt really good. Um, I also to warm up did uh, 30 jumping jacks, uh, five inchworms, and um, did the same thing at the very end to just kind of cool down a little bit. Um, and then just kind of walked laps around the house. I'm gonna do some stretching, things like that. I'm probably gonna go for a walk around the neighborhood later today with some more stretching and things like that to try to um, just, you know, keep muscle soreness and things like that down. Um, 
going to be as far as food. Uh, this morning I had a uh, big protein and some carbs and some fats. Uh, so I had a pretty balanced breakfast. I had one protein bar as a snack before this because I was feeling low on energy. Usually I don't have a snack right before the workout, but couldn't do it today. I needed that extra energy. I've had uh, four glasses of uh, five glasses of water. Um, so that's where I'm at now. I'm going to have uh, lunch after this, which is going to be high protein and tons of vegetables. And then I'll have another um, snack later today that's just going to be um, whey powder with two servings of that, which will give me like uh, I think about 48 more grams of protein plus a banana. Um, and I had some fruit for breakfast too, uh, three clementines, and I'll probably have um, at least one more clementine or some strawberries and stuff. It's day 10, and um, the most rigorous exercise I had done so far in this 30 day period was yesterday. And I'm honestly, I was thinking I was gonna be feeling horrible today. I feel great. I am not that sore. Um, I was expecting my legs to be in pretty rough shape, but they are fine. The only thing sore is my um, my shoulders, my biceps, and my shoulder blades. But I think that was from um, doing boxing several days ago, um, just shadow boxing and stuff. So anyway, yeah, I'm feeling really good. We just did a dynamic yoga workout that was about 20 minutes or so long, so not a whole lot. Um, and then we'll probably go on a walk um, later today, just walking the dog out for a while. Day 15 right now, so we are halfway through this uh, 30 day of ass kinking April. House is a mess right now because we are uh, packing to move, as well as uh, Rochelle is over here. I don't know if you can see the sewing machine here in the corner um, making masks for, for people, for our family and friends and all of that. So, um, Cool, that's what we're doing right now with quarantine. Um, just give you an idea of what I've eaten before this and what I'm gonna eat after this. Right now is right about noon, just a little afternoon. And uh, in the morning, I just had a, a black coffee. I've had 32 ounces of water. And I had one um, kind bar, which is like a, a mainly like nut and grain protein bar, and then a banana. Um, so it's about like a hundred calories for a banana. I don't remember the carbs on it. For the Kind Bar, I think it was like uh, nine protein and I wanna say 16 carbs and maybe 14 to 16 fat, something like that.
day 21. I am feeling really, really energized. And this is the day in the process that it, uh, people say it takes you 21 days to um, make something habit. And uh, someone, uh, Joseph, uh, my friend and podcast partner, asked me today, um, do you think that this will be more of a life change? And I definitely think so. I like the way we've been eating. I like the exercise. I love the routine of it all. I feel really good. That's the big thing that we've been measuring is how do we feel through this whole process. And I feel the best I felt in a very long time. So, yeah, this is something that um, I, I won't be as strict probably because I will want to be able to have a beer once in a while. But for the most part, like, this is how I want to stay. I, I want to keep with this routine with the types of food, with the uh, activity twice a day. Because, like, if this is how I feel now, if I drop the amount of weight that I want to over the next several months, then, like, I can't imagine how good it's going to feel then. Day 29 right now, um, I'm feeling really good. Uh, the few days before this, I'd say about four days, I lost a lot of energy, wasn't feeling that great, wasn't sleeping well, and I think that's why I didn't have so much energy. Uh, today, the day before this is all over, I feel great, all that energy is back, and I am am just finished, I just finished an exercise. Tomorrow is day 30, so it's the last day. And the last day, in this house because we are moving everything Friday. So uh, end of a lot of things at the end of this month, but it's been a good month. And regardless of what progress was made on the scale or on the tape measure, I'm very proud of myself and I'm very proud of Rochelle for us sticking through this um, ass kicking April. And yeah, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Whoa! Hey everybody, how's it going? Guess what? We did it! We did it. We are done. We did our 30 day kick ass April. Or was it ass kicking April? It was ass kicking April! I don't know anything! Ah! Anyway, we finished it and man, the results were fantastic. Uh, both Rochelle and I ended up achieving some really good results. Um, I won't share hers with you just in case she doesn't want to, but uh, for myself, I lost uh, nine pounds and then one and a half inches off of my waist. So that actually exceeded my expectations. I was expecting about four and a half to five pounds. I was expecting maybe a half inch. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely... Um, went really well. Um, so this is a couple days after um, that that ended, and uh, the reason that I waited a few days was to uh, basically also say we moved into a new house. Look, you can kind of tell because things look a little different. Um, and uh, so it's been uh, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy, crazy time. Um, I will share a little bit more about the new house in another video. I'm looking this way, but like you guys are over here. I don't know why, because I'm used to having the camera. I, I flipped it weird. Anyway, so there we have it. Achieved a lot of results. Will I keep this up now that the 30 days are over? Yup. Yep. We're going to keep it going. So, um, the, the night that we moved in, we celebrated, we had some beer, we had some wings, uh, and then 
uh, we're kind of right back on it. So today uh, was our first day back at, at work and um, we ate healthy for breakfast, for lunch. We did the exact same routine we had been doing for those 30 days. We got a, a really heavy workout in and we are not stopping. So, you know, these, these videos are going to be a little bit more few and far between than they used to be uh, just because of being busy. <laughs> But I'm going to keep everything updated with, with progress as it goes. So there we are. Thank you so much for watching this. And, and, and I really appreciate any kind of support and everything um, just by even, even clicking on this video in the first place. All right? So, again, thank you and keep fighting. You can do this. You can do the exact same thing I did. You might even get better results. So there you go. There you go. Just... Man, just put some effort into it. You are worth it. You can do this. I'll see you later.